In the vast expanse of the sky, a new chapter in aviation history is unfolding. For years, air-to-air -air refueling has been a critical aspect of military aviation, allowing aircraft to remain airborne for longer periods of time and extend their range. However, this essential task has always been carried out by manned tanker aircraft, placing the lives of aircrew at risk and limiting the capabilities of the fighter jets they support. Now, a new solution has arrived. The MQ-25 A Stingray drone, developed by Boeing, has been successfully tested as a mid-air refueler for fighter jets. With this groundbreaking technology, pilots can now stay in the cockpit of their aircraft while their fuel tanks are replenished, eliminating the need for manned tanker planes and reducing the risk to human life. This development represents a significant advancement in aerial warfare, unlocking new capabilities and extending the reach of fighter jets. As the MQ-25 A Stingray takes to the skies, a new era of air-to-air -air refueling is born, paving the way for enhanced mission capabilities and increased effectiveness in combat operations. Boeing has announced a deal to build a new factory in St. Louis to build the MQ-25 A Stingray drones. The facility, set to be finished in 2024, will first employ 150 mechanics and support staff. The word, drone, means many different things to different people. The small flying toys that one plays with are drones. So are the predator drones that are used in foreign airstrikes. Now, the military has another use for drones, refueling strike fighters. According to Popular Mechanics, history was made earlier this month, when the U.S. Navy's MQ-25A Stingray refueling tanker conducted the first successful refueling of an F-35C strike fighter. The refueling took place near the Mid-America St. Louis Airport in Mascouda, Illinois. The successful test is the latest step in giving carrier-based fighters longer legs than ever before, allowing them to fly and fight while keeping the aircraft carrier safely out of range of enemy weapons, popular mechanics said of the maneuver. Meanwhile, per Flight Global, Boeing has announced a deal to build a new factory, located at that same airport, to build the MQ-25A Stingray drones. The facility, set to be finished in 2024, will first employ 150 mechanics and support staff. The team and state-of-the-art technology we're bringing to the Navy's MQ-25 program is unprecedented, and we're incredibly proud to be expanding both as we build the future of autonomous systems in Illinois, Kristen Robertson. Vice President and General Manager of Autonomous Systems, Boeing Defense, Space Security, said in a statement. As I wrote last year about how the MQ-24A Stringray was one step closer to reality, following the first successful test. It was seen, at the time as, intended to take over the role of aerial refueling for the Navy, a role currently filled by the Navy's F-A-18 Super Hornets turned tankers, we wrote of the MQ-24A. To CT-1, Stingray prototype, fly with the hardware and software that makes MQ-25 an aerial refueler this early in the program is a visible reminder of the capability we're bringing to the carrier deck. Dave Bujold, the MQ-25A Stingray program director, said in a statement after that test. We're ensuring the R's in the software operating it will be ready to help MQ-25 extend the range of the carrier air wing. 